What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Shark Talk. Today we'll be talking about the curious case of Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. Digimon has always had a special place in my heart. Growing up, I was always more of a Pokemon kid, but I watched and observed Digimon kind of from a distance. See, back in the late 90s to early 2000s, Pokemon and Digimon were a part of a very dynamic phenomenon of the monster catcher style shows and games. It worked because the monsters were cute and varied, so everyone could have their favorite character and kind of develop a connection to the creatures because they associate it with their individual likes compared to others who may have had a different favorite. When the Pokemon games arrived, they were met with immediate success because of the addictive monster catcher formula, but also the fact that everyone on the playground could have a connection with it, whether it's from the TV show, trading cards, or just the games in general, you didn't have to just play the games to have a connection to it. The Pokemon show catered to a more lighthearted and childish tone. While appealing back then, it's kind of lost its luster over the years. Digimon, on the other hand, never had the same impact in the games department. They were constantly pinballing between genres, and the quality of these games were a gamble. But the Digimon show took a different route, while still grounded in a playground-esque tone, it dealt with more adult themes like loneliness and the need to belong and finding oneself. This is where the dividing line between the two Monster Catcher series was drawn, Pokemon on the left with their games, and Digimon on the right with their story-driven shows. Now I want you to take everything that you know about Digimon, put it in a blender, mix it with Persona 4, a coming of age story, and waifus, and what do you get? Digimon Story, Cyber Sleuth. Part of me cannot believe this game exists. This is a Digimon game made for the kids that watched the show back in the late 90s. I've gotten so used to Nintendo's reluctance to make a mature Pokemon game for the original target market that I was in disbelief when I started playing Cyber Sleuth. But Bandai Namco and developer Media Vision did it. They took the Digimon series and brought it into the modern times. The tone of the game is catered to the kids who aren't kids anymore, and this is absolutely brilliant. So many times developers and IP holders stay out of touch with who their target market should be and miss the mark by creating game focused on gaining new players rather than winning over longtime fans. So while this does make business sense to constantly be growing your market and cater to new fans, you cannot overlook the power behind fortifying your core demographic. Because you're, the really passionate ones are the ones who are going to sell the game for you, as word of mouth advertisement still is one of the best advertisement avenues. Digimon Cyber Sleuth hits the nostalgia button all while traversing something brand new. It takes our childhood familiarity and mixes it with our desire for a mature story and setting. This is something that Bandai Namco should be incredibly proud of, as this is rarely the easy route to take. Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth is a very good game. When not progressing through the engrossing storyline, you will be spending the rest of your time training and digivolving your team, which is incredibly satisfying. Every Digimon can be evolved and devolved into any Digimon in the entire game. The systems here are incredibly deep and satisfying when you get the hang of them. That's not saying this game is without its flaws, the story pacing and general JRPG grind are all present here, but those are just minimal issues in regard to the overall great game that lies here. With Digimon Cyber Sleuth outselling Bandai Namco's original expectations, I'm sure that North America will be receiving the next game in the pipeline, coincidentally named Digimon World Next Order. And while we wait for that, there's also Digimon Try the Animation, which is the Season 1 Kids, set six years after the first series. So awesome. What a time to be alive. I'll see you guys later.